Hey y'all, Coach and Fight here. Got Chris with me. Hey y'all. And we are here on the first day of the first month. Right. I want to say a happy new year to everybody. Happy new year. And in this class, we want to talk about some of the things that we would do on the first day of the first month. Particularly the sanctification of the Levi's. Mm -hmm. You know who the Levi's are, Chris? Those are the firstborn. The firstborn of each family. Turns out the way our father has set his way of doing things is to have a firstborn, a child within every home or a, a person within the, every home in charge of, uh, like it talks about here in First Chronicles chapter 15 and uh, verse 12, to bring up the ark of the Lord. Right. Um, right. This is a big deal. Of course, back then it was a literal ark that they could see. Mm -hmm. But now they still have the same charge. For the spiritual ark. Exactly. So we just wanted to talk about a few of these verses here. Um, verse 14 is also talking about the Levites, but it mentions the priest as well. Mm -hmm. You know what the difference between a priest and a Levi is? Is that a matter of age? Yeah, 50 years old. But look here at uh, chapter 29 and verse 5, if you would read that one. And said unto them, Hear me, ye Levites, sanctify now yourselves, and sanctify the house of the Lord God of your fathers, and carry forth the filthiness out of the holy place. See, this is what we're talking about when we're talking about the ark. Right. This is why it's their responsibility, because before they ever would touch the ark, it was their responsibility to sanctify themselves. Right. Right. And then, you know, of course, when we look over at Malachi in chapter three, how it talks about, you know, he would start with the Levites in the end times. Mm -hmm. Well, he's also talking about this, how they will be sanctified first. Right. And, you know, before everybody else will get to partake. But now this is down here in chapter 29 of Second Chronicles. Um, I think in verse 30, we start to get an idea of what's actually going on. Look, read th verse 30. Moreover, Hezekiah, the king and the princes commanded the Levites to sing praise unto the Lord with the words of David and of Espath, the seer. And they sang praises with gladness and they bowed their heads and worshiped. Now, I find that interesting because of what we know happens in chapter 30. Mm -hmm. This is talking about Hezekiah, that same king who brought all of the congregation back together for the first time. Right. Um, the, the 10 tribes plus the two tribes uh, that was with Judah. He brought them back together for second Passover. Mm -hmm. First time they were reunited. Absolutely. And when you look here in chapter 30, down there in about verse 3, you see why it was that they kept second Passover. Mm -hmm. It was because the Levites and the priests had, had not sanctified themselves yet. Right. So that's why it's so important. And that's what's actually going on here. You know, we're getting ready for Passover. Here in about two weeks, mm -hmm. you know, everybody will be coming down to partake in, you know, what the father has to offer his fees. Right. Well, before then, he has his Levi's to get ready and prepared. Well, that's what's that's what the day starts. Turn. It's not a one day process. So mm -hmm. you see here why it's important. But anyway, let's come back and finish the study because we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. You see right there in 30 and 15, it starts talking about the, the Levi's. Go ahead and read that one. Then they killed the Passover on the fourteenth day of the second month, and the priest and the Levites were ashamed, and sanctified themselves, and brought in the burnt offerings into the house of the Lord. Okay, so we have to finish out the, the entire chapter 30 to find out why they're now ashamed of themselves, mm -hmm. and sanctifying themselves. Again. Alright, so I think we find out why down here in verse 17. Go ahead and read that one. For there were many in the congregation that were not sanctified. Therefore, the Levites had the charge of the killing of the Passovers for everyone that was not clean to sanctify them unto the Lord. The thing about Passover is you're supposed to do it at your home. Right. And but they weren't clean to do it. So then Levites from other homes had to come help them out. So think of how important that is for us who, who get ready to slaughter a lamb here in 14 days. So we better hurry up and get this video out. Let's go on to the next one. 
Nehemiah 12 and 47. And all Israel in the days of Zerubbabel and in the days of Nehemiah gave the portions of the singers and the porters every day his portion. And they sanctified holy things unto the Levites, and the Levites sanctified them unto the children of Aaron. So now this, you fast forward all the way up to the second temple. Right. This is Zerubbabel and Nehemiah. Um, but they're doing the same process, seems like. Mm -hmm. Let's look down here in chapter 13. And I commanded the Levites that they should cleanse themselves and that they should come and keep the gates to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember me, O oh my God, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of thy mercy. All right, so that's Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 22. And we can dig down and see exactly what date has occurred on, but let's keep going. Ezekiel 48 and 11. It shall be for the priests that are sanctified of the sons of Zadok, which have kept my charge, which went not astray when the children of Israel went astray, as the Levites went astray. Okay, now this is real deep right here, because even though a lot of people are um, Levites, um, these Zadoks are, um, narrows it down. Let me just say that. Okay, mm -hmm. you, you study about who the Zadok priests are and the Zadok Levites. The thing about those guys is their offering and their sacrifices are accepted in the end times. Mm -hmm. Probably just before everybody else's. But we'll save that for another study. Uh, 44 was also talking about the Levites in the sanctuary. But I believe the main verse that I want to look at is over here in Leviticus chapter 8. We're going to drop down here to the end of the chapter. Um, let's, let's look at verse 33. And ye shall not go out of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation in seven days, but until the days of your consecration be at an end. For seven days shall he consecrate you. You see back up there at um, verse 31 that he's talking about the sons of Aaron. Right. So that would be the Levites. So once again, he's talking about the sanctification. Right. Now look down at verse 34 and 35. As he hath done this day, so the Lord hath commanded to do, to make an atonement for you. Therefore ye shall abide at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation day and night seven days, and keep the charge of the Lord, yet ye die not, for so I am commanded. So here you get an atonement. Right. Or the Levites are getting an atonement, and it's taking seven days mm -hmm. that they are to abide by the tabernacle. And then you see it says that they will not die. Right. Because what happens if they go close to that tabernacle, too close, and they're not sanctified? You know, it's just like trying to climb the mountain back there when they was getting the covenant. You know, they, they, something was going to happen. Yeah. Them. You know, so. But now it's talking about a spiritual death. Mm -hmm. Right. A lot of our Levi's are about to go to spiritual sleep right now if they don't do what they're supposed to do between now. We, you know, you got you, time. We got time. You know, there's second Passover involved in this, too. You know, so we got we got time. But my point in all of this is that this stuff is necessary. Right. You know, not everybody knows, you know, and, you know, we could go through this whole chapter. I would suggest you go through this whole chapter. I'm not going to go through this whole chapter. Um, in this video, but it would have to be a video that stands alone because it, um, it's got a lot of information, but you see in verse six, that is talking about, um, wash them with water. Mm -hmm. I will mention that, that, you know, one of the ways, probably the main way that we get sanctified nowadays is through baptism. Right. So, and it also talks about oil in here. We read about that in the book of James, mm -hmm. um, where it talks about how, when you're sick to go to the elect and have them to pray of you and put oil on you. Mm -hmm. And it says that that oil, uh, takes away the sin or something like that. Well, that's another way of sanctifying our priests and our Levites now. Right. Right. So we want to, I know this video is kind of rushed and put up here, but we wanted to get this out because now we start this process. Mm -hmm. Start the cleansing. So let us know down in the comment section, what you'll be doing with all of this and what you'll be doing on this particular day. 
Mm-hmm. How you'll be sanctifying yourself in preparation for Passover. Or oh, sanctify the Levites. Man, have to go call up your Levi friend and and uh, help get him ready. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Well, guys, so we got a lot of stuff to do around here too. So we're going to get to it. Hurry up, get this video processed. Praise our Father in heaven for His Word. Shalom.